Hello everybody, my name is Scarlet. Welcome back to another seven days to die. We're on day three. We are currently being invaded. Oh shit. Oh, we really are being invaded like hardcore. Okay, so. We're gonna get the heck out of here because we only have um, like eight minutes until the zombies can't run anymore. And at least if we're out here, they're not breaking down the doors to get into the base. I have no idea why they decided that they were going to try breaking into the base that way. It was very unfortunate. Now I'm gonna have to um, freaking fix it because they broke the walls down. Hey, over here. Whoa. Did they get in? Are they inside the base? Uh-oh. Come on, big mama. Get out of here. Whoa. Why are you being so aggressive? I don't understand. What did I ever do to you? Come on. None of you are gonna die. Come on. Oh, I killed one of them. Good grief! Come on, get out of here! Not having any stamina left is getting on my nerves. Get out of here. There we go, that was a freaking nightmare. Not only that, but they also basically tore down the back of the freaking base. So now let's make some of these. We're going to have to plug up the holes real quick. And then we'll go ahead and upgrade them over here. I don't think we have any cobblestone, so we'll just have to upgrade them to the second wood block. But we're going to try to find some cobblestone at some point today. I want to come inside real quick before we get moving anywhere and make sure that they didn't tear down all my stuff. Okay, it looks like that's all that they really broke down. Um, was the wall. That's fine. As long as I didn't break down my chest. Because I have been there, done that. Where I have freaking had the walls broke down. And my chests and stuff taken down as well. So today's a mission. We are on a mission to find the traitor. We're going to start by just going straight this way to the opposite side of the town. And look, I kind of feel a little silly that I didn't, you know keep better track of where the traitor was, but um, it's okay, because we're gonna figure it out. We need to see if the traitor happens to have any antibiotics. Um, we're not doing so hot as far as infection goes. So that's a little unfortunate. We also um, need a significant amount of other things as well. We need cobblestone. Um, we have regular stone. Okay, so it sounds like we're actually pretty close. Is this him over here? I know that we have Trader Bob this time instead of Trader, well, instead of any of the other traders. I have had Hugh before, I've had Wrecked, um, Jen. This is the first time I've ever had Bob, and here he is. While we're here, 
we're gonna do something smart and we're gonna mark it. Even though now I know that this is the building that it is, we're just gonna go ahead and mark it anyways. And we'll just name it Trader Bob and then we can get out of here. I think, is he in here? I can't remember which one of these buildings he's in. No, he's not over here. Oh, he's over here on this side. Good morning. We can also take a job for him as well. What all do you have here, buddy? An iron sledgehammer. Okay. Um, a gyrocopter, 150,000. Nice. Do you have any antibiotics? No. Do you have any herbal antibiotics? No. Do you have any honey? N also no. What about in your secret stash? Do you have any antibiotics? Do you have any herbal antibiotics? No. Do you have any honey? Also no. Okay. He does have a motorcycle chassis, a weapon flashlight mod, um, an iron shovel. Oh, this is in his secret stash. He has the, well, he really has a whole lot of nothing here. He has an engine, four x four truck accessories. They okay, saying you. so basically nothing. We're gonna go ahead and take a job for you as well. We can do this Would fetch, that's pretty help. close. I can't thank you enough. So the jobs, we're going to try to do as many of those as possible. Once you get to tier two, you open up the second trader route. So that is the goal to open up the second trader route. It takes a little bit and I'm hoping that the quests um, are going to be fine in this world. <laughs> if you guys follow me on Twitch, you know that for whatever reason, my quests um they hate me and they glitch out every time i don't understand the ones that i do for trader jen are fine but as far as the rest of them goes they're not going to cooperate which sounds about right i mean that's about how i would imagine anything like that to go so i should probably eat i did bring some food we have some cat food we'll go ahead and eat that first we might as well and we'll eat some of this charred meat that I made up. Also, while, um, or in between episodes, I did kind of clear out my front room. Um, you guys probably didn't notice that because I spawned in to start this episode and was immediately being, like, bludgeoned by the zombies that were trying to break into my house. So, I'm gonna make a stone shovel. What about, okay. So I need, before I go in there, I wanna make sure that I have a shovel for any cobblestone or anything that we find. We're gonna need basically as much cobblestone as we can get for now because we're gonna need it to upgrade the base. So that's why I wanna just go ahead and get it all taken care of now so that we're not having to worry about it when it gets closer to the horde. Because that's how it usually happens is I get close to the horde and then realize that, um, I probably should have taken care of this a long time ago. Okay, I don't think he notices me. So I don't like to enter from the basement. I freaking hate that. Oh, okay. Well, we're not going to enter from the basement, I guess. Come on. I know you're coming after me. to pick that up too while I see it. Okay, now back to what we were doing before we were so rudely interrupted. We need to figure out how to get in here. Um, something tells me we're going to have to climb up into the treehouse and jump across. <gasps> okay, I will scrap these and I'll leave everything else. So, that's exactly what it looks like. We're going to have to do some hardcore parkour here. 
without falling into the hole. Well. Oh, crap. I did not see him. Well, that was easy enough. Is there a door here? No, of course not. Where is the other one? I can hear you. Oh, I think I'm... Did I see him? No, I didn't. I thought that I did. While we are up here, let's go ahead and grab the cobblestone. There seems to be quite a bit of it up here, so I'm glad that I made the shovel. We're gonna try to do it without getting attacked from behind by any of these pals. Or burnt pals. I always, whenever I start a new world, I always forget what it's like to have to start over with a stone shovel and stuff, because now I have a steel shovel in some of my other worlds, and it's always so funny to have to start digging things up with a stone shovel again, because it just takes forever. I don't normally really dig that deep into the trash, but we're here, so we might as well. There's a bunch of cobblestone here. I know I'm getting distracted from my job, but I want to take it so that we can start upgrading the base. Because obviously we need to. Because they're breaking it even before the horde. So we need to get at least around the front and back doors upgraded to cobblestone. We should have enough for more than that. I'm thinking we should have plenty. But those are the main key. Those are the key points that we want to take care of. Okay, my stamina would regen here. That would be great. Uh-oh. Sometimes that happens and sometimes it doesn't. So I never know when to be on the lookout for things that are falling because sometimes I take damage from them and sometimes I don't. That's the game's way of keeping me guessing though, I think. Come on with the stamina regen. I know it's because we have a sprained arm and we're infected and thirsty, but still, I mean, come on, we only have 10 hit points left. So it looks like the supplies are going to be downstairs. I'm gonna go ahead and repair this before I go in there just in case. We'll go ahead and grab this while we're up here. I wish that I could have the torch and the shovel out at the same time. At some point we'll have a, a helmet, uh oh. A helmet light mod or a weapons mod or a weapons light mod and then we will be able to see a little better but until then we kind of just have to suck it up I just really don't like to not be able to see like when I'm going you know down into a house that I haven't been into that seems to be a little bit of a problem that's usually how we get into you know some of the situations that we manage to get ourselves into So now it looks like it is time to venture downstairs. I'm a little bit weary about just dropping down in here, but I don't think that we really have another choice unless we want to go out and drop down, which might be the better option if I can remember how to get out of here. How did I even get up here to begin with? So I want to break this door down because I don't want to end up getting trapped in here and not be able to get out. 
That's usually what happens when I drop down places, then I have to work on breaking the doors down so I can get out, and that's not what I'm about today. I want to get in here and get out. Yeah, come out here with me, buddy. We got Tweaky here. Okay, Tweaky has been eliminated. What? <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, get out of here. Okay, so it looks like the supplies are gonna be downstairs so i need to figure out how to work my way down towards the basement i'm assuming it's the basement anyways doesn't look like we can get down there from here Ooh, that was okay well here we are I do not like this at all. I wonder if I can... Oh, man. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Oh. I think we're fine. What happened to that guy, though? Wasn't he standing a minute ago? I'm not gonna ask questions. I'm just gonna get the heck out of here. I need to make some more shapes. I actually need probably more than one, so let's go ahead and make, like, five. Okay, so what... We are going to do here. Oh, right. Okay. I think we need to go up one more. Uh oh. Okay, so that worked out well. We managed to get in there and get out without even waking those zombies up. There were some shotgun messiah crates down there um, that I'm actually very interested in because they usually have decent loot in them. But I kind of don't really have the necessary weapons to be able to you know, successfully make it down there because where the main loot is is usually where the horde of zombies are and me and my sad little wooden club aren't really um, equipped for fighting a bunch of zombies at once, especially since I couldn't get out of there without towering my way up. And if I know myself, um, if that were the case, we would have definitely died down there. And that would have really sucked. So I do want to go back, but I kind of want to have a better weapon first. At least, like, a stun baton or a... Oh, hello, buddy. Come on. Man, me and my stamina are about to get on my nerves. Okay. We really need some antibiotics or something. We need some food, we need some water. There are a lot of things that we could really use right now. Hello, Bob, I did something great for you. What do you have you for go, me? Friend. Whatever you need, just say the word. You only have two options for me. Pipe, I guess we'll go with pipe bomb since I already have that mod. You suck, I just want you to know that. Um, okay, what do you have in your vending machine, though? Some eye candy. How many coins do I have? We'll go ahead and buy that. 
And it looks like that's it. While I'm thinking about it, I think I also have some points. Oh, I have six points available. So we're gonna put one into Lucky Looter. Let's go ahead and put one into Skull Crusher. My early game weapon of choice is the Sledgehammer and Sexual Tyrannosaurus and Skull Crusher together work pretty well for the beginning of the game. We're also gonna go into Pack Mule. That's gonna give us some more inventory spots. And then we're gonna go into Master Chef. That is going to unlock the grilled meat and the boiled meat recipe. And then for our last one, what do we wanna put our last one into? Let's put our last one into Daring Adventure. That's going to give us better rewards when we do jobs for the trader. Okay, so now we have that finished. We really need, well, we really need um, some food and some water. Did I bring food with me? I have some cans of ravioli, so we might as well go ahead and use them. And I have some water. We're gonna go ahead and use it too. And then we're gonna go see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into and find some place to loot before it is time to hide inside like the coward that we are. So that way looks like mostly houses. I kind of wanna go like to the industrial area of the town. Plus, also I've noticed that the more industrial part doesn't have as many dogs. And dogs, especially at the beginning of the game, are my worst enemy. So I like to try to avoid them at all costs, if at all possible. And if that means not going into the houses until later in the game, then that's what I'll do. Because right now, me and this club are not going to be able to fight off any zombie dogs. I might be able to craft a sledgehammer. Um, a stone sledgehammer. So I need some more plant fibers to do that. We might go ahead and do that just so that I have a better weapon. Um, the stamina situation is a little bit of a bummer because we don't really have that much stamina right now. We can't get it up full because of our... Oh, I said that just as soon as it was full. Okay, so I take that back. We can have our full stamina back. So this will be our best friend for now. And we got to make a level two since we put the points into Skull Crusher. Okay, we were already in the gears. POI, so we need to find another one. It is still pretty late in the day, so we're gonna try to not make it a big, huge one. There's a doghouse right there. I'm really surprised we didn't get attacked by a dog in there. I probably shouldn't say things like that because that's when a dog is just gonna be lurking around the corner waiting to attack us, which seems about right. I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't really be that surprised at this point. Let's drink some coffee because me and this stamina region um, seem to be a little bit of an issue. So we're gonna do the video store. I know I said I wasn't going to do the video store, but wakey wakey, taking out them knees as if you weren't already doing that. Okay, you're dead. You know, if you guys have seen Zombieland, Double tap is my motto. So that's why she's dead. We're gonna hit her again anyways, just to make sure. Doesn't look like anything there can be. Come on this way so that I can see you coming. Whoa, that was a good shot. Okay, well, it was really nice getting to know you guys, but I'm very sorry that we had to end our our get together so soon, but unfortunately, I have things to do. Uh 
Okay. Was there another one? I thought that I saw another one, maybe, but I guess not. Whoa. That was almost bad. Anybody in here? Oh, yep, I had a feeling. Ooh, buddy. Thank you. Whoa, he just stared at me with that blank look in his eyes, just staring at me while I hit him in the head repeatedly with my sledgehammer. I did not like that. That made me very uncomfortable. So here we have a generator. We can go ahead and take it down. Our wrench is almost completely broken. We have some repair kits at home, um, so we need to get it repaired. We also are going to need to find some honey or something here pretty quickly or else we are going to be in a world of hurt. I do not want to activate that. So really, there was absolutely nothing of any use to me in here. Am I surprised? Um, I saw that shadow and thought something was about to fall down. No, not really. I have been in here before in another world, so... Oh, did I already get the cobblestone that was in here? Oh, here's some trash. Okay, we will take that because we will need that to make cement. So we did get that cobblestone already. I'm stuck on that light. I think, unless there's something behind here that I missed. Yeah, that's everything. Excuse me? Oh, that's the flag. Okay. Just as long as it wasn't, um, you know. It sounded like vulture wings at first. I do want to go hit up the cracker book. I think we'll use the eye candy before we go in there because that's going to increase our loot. I guess the quality of the loot. Not so much the quantity. Um... So that will be something that we hopefully are able to do tomorrow. Let's head back over to the base and we will start getting some of the walls and stuff upgraded to cobblestone. We really need to find some antibiotics of some sort. We need a stump so we can get some honey or something because I don't know what happens when we get um, infected all the way. I'm assuming we just die. But it does tell you to avoid symptoms to take antibiotics. So I don't know what kind of symptoms that means. And I don't really want to find out if we can help it. So preferably if we could find something to treat our infection, that would be great. Now we might need to start looting some of the houses. Because sometimes the bathrooms, the medicine cabinets will have things um, that you can, you know, they'll have like medical stuff in there sometimes so we'll just have to check and see let's go ahead and upgrade these while i'm thinking about it there we go i also want to go ahead and upgrade these we'll go all the way around the door i think that's probably our best bet they're still going to probably try to break in from other places, but at least here they won't be able to, you know, tear down the walls around the door and get in. They tend to break into the weakest parts of your base, and unfortunately that is basically the whole base. So we have all of that done. I want to come back here if I can get off the door and upgrade this one. So because our doorways are so secure, that's going to make the rest of the base less secure. And that's what's going to cause the zombies to start breaking down the doors and stuff. Oh, we have some forged iron. We'll go ahead and put that up. Um, we can probably put all this stuff up. Scrap that. The glass we're going to toss. Um. 
Um, we'll go ahead and put these up, and we probably don't need the springs. And that is all of the storage that we have. Let's see if we can make another one here. Okay, there we go. So now we can put some of this other stuff in here. We don't really have that much stuff to put in there right now. And we're also going to get some more water cooked up here. All right, so while we are waiting for that stuff to cook up, we've also got our stuff unloaded here and kind of we kind of got some of our base um upgraded maybe a little bit but i am all out of time for this episode so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more you'll also be able to watch my other two videos as well um day one and day two day one is um yeah a freaking nightmare so i hope you guys enjoy that video because i sure didn't but don't forget to also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And if you have Twitch, you can follow me there as well. I stream like three to four times a week on Twitch as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one.